My name is Greg Lambert and I've been asked to comment on the upcoming match between the show stealer Nathan Cruz and Dean Allmark. Now I've known Dean Allmark since about 2006. Got a lot of respect for Brian Dixon, head of All Star Wrestling, Dean Allmark being Brian's son-in-law. Brian is basically the daddy of British wrestling promoters and Brian's done a lot for me to help me out over the years, something I'm really, really grateful for. And one time in particular was uh, in 2006 when I was in charge of the FWA, Brian was in charge of All-Star Wrestling, and uh, the British Interfederation Cup at the time was held by the FWA, and we wanted to do a feud with All-Star, a bit of legitimacy, you know, the two biggest promotions at the time in British wrestling going against each other. And Brian was very cooperative, and he sent over a very, very strong team, a very, very strong all-star team to the Morecambe Dome on May the 13th, 2006, to take on the FWA team for the Cup. And Dean Allmark was part of that team. And Dean was an absolute professional, delight to work with. Dean, a career babyface, good guy. Uh, don't think he's really worked heel or bad guy very much at all, but that night, that's what he was asked to do because he was on the invading team on, against a very partisan FWA, pro-FWA audience in the Morecambe Dome. But Dean was absolutely brilliant in the role, had a fantastic match with Johnny Storm, I think the best match of the night, and was also part of the closing match, an a, a eight-man tag between Team FWA and Team Ulster. Consummate professional, very athletic, great wrestler. Now, on the other hand, you've got Nathan Cruz, and my first experience of Nathan Cruz was at an FWA show, I think in 2000 and early 2010, late 2009. Nathan was taking part in an afternoon show, uh, an unsigned show with all the up-and-coming young stars of British wrestling. They'd all converged on the afternoon of an FWA show, hoping to impress myself and other UK promoters were there. Never seen a lot of these guys before. In that battle royal, there was a lot of guys... Uh, Name guys like Johnny Moss, he was in there. Darice Coffey, he was in there. And Nathan Cruz came out. And I've never seen a guy make an instant impression on me as much as Nathan Cruz did. Nathan Cruz came out with a feather bow around his neck, with the outrageous sunglasses, with the attitude, with the colourful tights. He came down to the ring, he walked the walk, he strutted around, he looked like he was a somebody, he was boastful. And then he got through over the top rope straight away and he sold it like oh it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me and he made an instant first impression and very few guys that have ever done that with me made an instant first impression on me in fact i would probably say there's only three in my 10 years in british wrestling who have made that kind of initial impact to the point that i know that guy's going to be a somebody that guy's going to be a star and the other two are alex shane and johnny fear illustrious company. I said to Alex, who was the FWA booker at the time afterwards, I said, Nathan Cruz is the guy who's made the biggest impression on me. And from there, it was almost like Alex sort of, I think he already realised that himself because he handpicked Nathan to be the guy to drop the show stealer name to. He handpicked Nathan to move up to the FWA roster. Now, Nathan's only a young guy, just about, just turned 20 years old. Dean Allmark, still young, but around about the 30 mark, 10 years between them. And I think there's a lot of differences in Dean Allmark and Nathan Cruz. In that Dean is very much a good guy, a real guy. Nathan's a guy with an edge. Nathan's a guy who will do anything to get the job done. He'll break the rules if he needs to, both in and out of the ring. Nathan's outrageous. Dean is straight-laced. Family man. Nathan's a bit of a playboy. A lot of contrasts there. There's a lot of similarities too. Both of them, they've got passion for wrestling. They both wrestle for All-Star. They're both full-time on the circuit. They want... They live, eat, and breathe professional wrestling, the pair of them. So I think when they wrestle each other, 
it's going to be interesting because you know you've got the still young veteran against the cocky, cocky, the cocky up and comer. Somebody's got to give. Somebody's got to be that true pioneer. Somebody is going to end that match as the winner and the one person who people look at and think, yeah, you know, you're the man. And Nathan's saying he's going to leave British wrestling if he loses. That's big, you know. I wouldn't mind buying a ticket to see that match. Two guys I've got a lot of respect for. Two guys who can both wrestle. Two guys who are going to put it all on the line. If I were you, you know, I'd consider buying a ticket too. Because at the end of the day, there can only be one true pioneer of British wrestling. Let's find out who it is.